Arthur the Tank Engine has an awesome design in the show. The question is, how faithful was Trackmaster's adaptation? I'm also joined by EN2. In 2005, he was first issued by PlayRail with two grey troublesome trucks and fish crates, reflecting his work in the television series. Motor Road and Rail followed with their version, appearing practically identical to the Japanese version. But that's not all. In the same year, Motor Road and Rail came out with a single release of the same Arthur, but with two half-straight track pieces named Arthur with Track. Let's get going with Hits releases. They first issued him in 2007 as a Little Friends release. He featured a half-straight track piece. Then in 2008 came a Big Friends release with, and you heard it here first folks, a red van, as well as two half-straight track pieces. Next up was a Toys R Us release. He got a troublesome truck with a red bolster wagon. Now, this is where it gets interesting. In his prototype, he had a troublesome truck with cargo and a blue bolster wagon. This was ultimately replaced with the aforementioned red wagon and empty truck. Also in 2008 was a Trackmaster Tomy release with the same rolling stock as the early PlayRail and Motor Road and Rail models. This means more Trackmaster fish crates, which is always something to be excited about. Lastly, Hit re-released a Little Friends Arthur in 2009. Over to EN2 to talk about what happened next. After the hit releases, Fisher Price actually took up a version of Arthur. He received an updated body shell and was first released in 2010 as a Little Friends pack. In the same year, he got a Big Friends release with a brown slate truck, unfortunately lacking the vibrant fish crates seen in years past. He was also found in two sets in the Fisher Price era. First in the Busy Day on Sodor set, which is phenomenal on its own, featuring various destinations including a girder bridge, station, chicken feed farm, and much more that provides a massive amount of play value to children, rather than a simple loop of track. Then, the more commonly known and strongly Arthur-focused set, Arthur at the Copper Mine, including play features which date back to the hit era. For some reason, the box art shows him with an entirely black buffer beam, rather than the red one seen on the actual toy. That wraps up my segments, and I hope you enjoyed them! If you like Tug's content, check out my channel, with the link down in the description. I'll see you later. Thanks again, Tons! So, in conclusion, Arthur in Trackmaster is great! He appears in some amazing sets throughout his time, and has an incredibly solid model. He is very well sized, the colours are on point, and one might just say that he is flawless.